Anaphylaxis is a sudden onset allergic reaction. It can occur within moments to up to two hours after exposure to the allergen. It is important to recognize anaphylaxis when it is occurring and treat it quickly. To keep it simple, you can recognize anaphylaxis if one of these symptoms is happening. Number one, difficulty or noisy breathing. This can be coughing, wheezing, or labored breathing, or a hoarse voice. Number two, vomiting and or severe abdominal cramps. I usually say vomiting more than once because some people vomit once and look or feel much better immediately afterward. However, if there is vomiting and the person looks worse or vomits again, treat this as anaphylaxis. Number three, feeling dizzy, looking lethargic or fainting. In a young child, they may look unusually sleepy. In an older person, they may look pale and confused. If you have identified anaphylaxis based on one of the items listed here, use an epinephrine auto injector immediately, then take the person to the nearest emergency room or call 911. There are often early warning signs, such as an itchy mouth or throat, facial swelling or hives on the skin. If these are the only signs that appear, the epinephrine auto injector is not required. However, if you are ever in doubt, for example, if the person has hives and swelling and looks unwell, just give the injection. It is better to use the injector when it is not really needed than to miss the opportunity to cure anaphylaxis. A side note, oftentimes itch and hives will disappear on their own given some time. However, if the person is uncomfortable from the itch or hives, a non-sedating antihistamine such as Claritin, Reactin, or Aries can be given to make them feel more comfortable. Benadryl should be avoided because it makes the person drowsy and this can be confused with anaphylaxis. It is important to remember that antihistamines are not a substitute for epinephrine and it is not the first step in treatment of anaphylaxis. If the person has anaphylaxis, do not waste time giving an antihistamine and go directly to the epinephrine auto-injector. An EpiPen Junior is for children up to 25 kilograms or 55 pounds, and the EpiPen is for children and adults over 25 kilograms or 55 pounds. If your child has outgrown their EpiPen Junior, talk to your doctor about a prescription for the EpiPen. The EpiPen has two ends. The top is blue and this locks the device and the bottom is orange and this is where the needle comes out. The way to remember this is blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. You place the orange end on the outer thigh, press firmly and count for three seconds. One, two, three. Once you have released, the needle is covered by a safety cap. You will then take yourself to the nearest emergency room or call 911. For a young child, I find that placing them on your lap Facing you is the easiest way to use the EpiPen. So once you have them nice and secure, especially if they're upset during a reaction, then you can naturally apply the EpiPen to their outer thigh. One, two, three, and let go. You would then take your child to the nearest emergency room or call 911. When using the EpiPen in an older child, you can place the child in your lap in the same position or have them next to you. One, two, 
one, two, three. You would then take your child to the nearest emergency room or call 911. Alternatively, you can have them seated across from you and apply it to the outer thigh. One, two, three, and let go. An older child may be able to use the EpiPen device on themselves. One, two, three. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our clinic.